Hey there, and thanks for checking out this Svelte tutorial series here on my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the basics of slots. We're going to find out why they're so useful in terms of component composition and making our components really flexible. Let's get into it right now. So I've already got a basic Svelte project up and running. I'm here in VS Code, and on the left, you can see my app.svelte file. And on the right, I have a card.svelte file, and this is going to be a child component that we're going to use in app.svelte. So here on line two, I'm already importing that card component. So let's go ahead and use it in our markup. So normally we would use it like this with a self-closing tag. As soon as I save, we can see it appear here in my browser. All right, so currently what this card component is doing is it's simply a div, and that div has some styling to it, a height, a width, a border, and a white background color. Now, of course, the whole idea of components is that we can reuse them. So I can go ahead and I can duplicate this card a couple times. And now if I save, we see three cards. But what if we wanted to provide some different and unique HTML elements to each one of these cards? Well, that's where slots come in. Let's go ahead and see how we can use slots to do that. So in order to keep things simple, let's get rid of this second and third card for now. And we'll just deal with the very first card. Now, when we're using slots, we're not going to be using a self-closing tag like we're doing here, but rather we're going to have this child component have both an opening and a closing tag, because within these tags is where we're going to put our HTML markup. So for example, let's say that for this first card, we wanted to have some kind of title in it. So let's say we wanted an H2, and the text content for this one will be card number one. All right, now I've already saved, but we don't see that content appearing yet here in the card. And that's because we need to use the slot element. So here in card.svelte, I'll make some opening and closing tags for my div. And within these div tags, I'm simply going to use the slot element like this. And now if I save, you see that that h2 does appear in the card. So what we have here is a kind of composition we can say, right? That card element is acting sort of like an outer shell, a very flexible one in which we can put different HTML elements of our choosing. So for example, if I reuse this card, so I'm going to go ahead and copy it and paste it. And then for the second card, for that H2, I can say card number two. Right now, if we save, we see card number two for the second one. But because we're using a slot, we can add some other markup if we want just to this second card. So for example, let's say we wanted to put some descriptive text. So let's use some lorem ipsum for now inside of a paragraph tag. And if I save, we can see that paragraph text here only in card number two, but not in card number one. All right, so using a slot in this way is giving us some flexibility when we use our card child component to pass whatever unique HTML content or elements we want to each individual card. And just for fun, let's do a third card. And this one will say card number three. And let's say that we want a button for this one. And we'll say view project. And there's card number three. So as you can see, a slot is sort of like a placeholder. It's a placeholder for whatever content we're putting in between our card tags. So if you want to take your web development skills to the next level, check out the Code Creative Store for courses and free content. I'm going to leave a link for you in the description and the comment sections down below. Also, drop me a comment and let me know if you've tried Svelte yet, or if you're planning on giving it a try. See you next time.